Hi everyone, it's Kathy, and I'm back with another journal. This is another altered book journal. Uh, the previous one I mentioned was the result of a class I took with Nellie Wartman. And so I went ahead and made another one. I really enjoy uh, these type of journals. So I hope that you enjoy it as well. This journal measures five and a half by eight inches, has two signatures and 50 pages, lots of lace and buttons and um, ephemera. And I left a lot of room also for you to uh, journal. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, this is the front cover. As you can see, I have a little piece of wood there from my walks. Um, I got a metal embellishment here, vintage photo, some burlap, lace, corrugated cardboard, more lace. Um, it's really uh, packed. Some lace trim there. The spine has some rusted fabric with large buttons. And then the back is book pages with a little bit of lace peeking out. Okay, let's go inside. And the inside front cover, you'll see that I've included a another journal. This is um, would be a great writing journal. I left everything blank. So you could add photos or anything that you would like. And inside, several pages for you to fill up. Just do it the way that you would like. If you wanna write in here, or add some photos. And that just stays right here in the front cover. So uh, I think that's a great idea for those of you that like to do a lot of writing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, we have a vintage photo here with a metal book plate. This is sentimental. More lace. You don't inspire others by being perfect. You inspire them by how you deal with your imperfections. Coffee dyed paper. It's been stamped. I just love this paper. And then another vintage photo. A lot of sewing. More room for journaling. Another vintage photo. Some stitching. Inside there are some watercolor paper and coffee dyed paper as well as some designer paper. Here we have little envelopes with some ephemera. Here's a good spot for journaling. Some writing paper and then this spot would be great to journal on or add a photo. And then if over here we have a Pretty little bead hanging. Um, I just love these little beads. Oh no, <clears throat> excuse me, another saying, wishes are the magic in our heart that cause beautiful things to happen. Another vintage photo on a glassine bag. And inside the glassing bag is a letter. It just says June 29th. Doesn't say the year though. It's real strange. I've had a lot of these old letters that they never put the year on them. And then another saying, sometimes on the way to our dreams, we get lost and find a better one. 
copy of a vintage postcard with more lace, some trim, another spot for journaling, pocket with some tickets, fabric and some buttons, more of that beautiful paper, some stamping on there. Here's some watercolor paper, so that'd be great to, you could either draw a picture on there or do some journaling. And another vintage photo. More stitching. More lace. Another pretty photo. Some angels. I love all the laces. More uh, watercolor paper and this one has some buttons and some fabric more lace vintage photo a lace pocket with another letter inside oh this one says 1816 it's a copy of an old letter. Cute little girl with some stitching around a book page. <clears throat> Another vintage photo. More lace trim. A lot of buttons in this journal. And we have our nice ruffle with some bling. And another image. And then the center of this signature has been coffee dyed. You can see, look at the way that came out. So that's a great spot to do some journaling. And we have another pretty bead. You can see that. And a pretty stitched heart with a button, a pocket with more tickets, another vintage photo, more room for journaling, stitching on the side, another vintage photo with more lace, isn't that cute? And a little, little window here that opens up to Another vintage photo. More lace and fabric. Another vintage photo. And the inside back cover has one of these policy envelopes. I just left that blank. I didn't put anything in there. Because that would be great for some mementos um, to stick in there. But then behind it is a tag you could journal on. And then the back cover again. So there you have my latest journal. It is available for purchase. If anybody's interested, contact me at kathycadeel at yahoo.com. I hope you enjoy taking a peek at this journal. This is one of my, uh, I enjoy making these. So um, I'll be back soon. Not sure what I'm going to have, but uh, it, it will be one of my journals. And um, we'll just see what inspires me in the next couple of weeks. Uh, thank you everyone for your comments and for taking a peek at my journals and for leaving me such sweet messages. I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye for now and enjoy the rest of your week.